Okay, when I say The Legend of Zelda, what is the first thing that comes to your head? I would bet a million dollars that it's the dungeons. What's that? Y y you didn't think of the dungeons? Oh. Well, I just lost a million dollars. Thanks a lot, guys. Well, anyway, I just needed a transition to talk about the top five worst Zelda dungeons. And what can I say? I suck at intros. Alright, I have to admit that this dungeon is only on here to fill a spot on this list because I honestly don't hate that many dungeons. But I guess I can say that it's a nice level. Whoa, look out, I'm sliding everywhere! <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, this dungeon is really that good to be honest with you. Okay, now we're getting into the dungeons that I can actually talk and complain about. Well, kinda. To be honest with you guys, there are only two reasons I don't like Jabu Jabu's belly. One, I don't like the look of it. It looks gross and weird and I don't like it. Two, I hate Princess Ruta with a burning passion. The fact that you have to save her by lifting her up and carrying her to every single location is annoying on its own, but add on to the fact that you get to listen to her nag and complain at you for leaving her is enough for me to hate her. She is such a bit. but other than that, I guess overall it's an alright dungeon, and that's why it's only number four. But she's still a bit. I can't believe I'm putting a dungeon from the Wind Waker, but I have to admit, I am not a big fan of the Wind Temple. To be honest, the only saving grace about this dungeon is Makar. Gosh, he's so cute. Other than that though, I am not a fan of anything else. I think the puzzles are lacking and uninteresting and not very challenging. It can be very, very easy to get lost in here. And I don't know why, but man, I, I really don't like the music. It, it just... Here, you have a listen for yourselves and you tell me. It's weird, right? Anyway, I don't hate this dungeon, but it's just enough to put it at number 3. This dungeon is the reason I decided to do this list. Number 2 is the Lake Bed Temple from Twilight Princess. I think Twilight Princess has some of the best dungeons in any Zelda game, but that also means it can have some of the worst, and that goes for this dungeon. I have no clue as to why, but I really don't mind the Water Temple from Ocarina of Time or the Great Bay Temple from Majora's Mask, but I cannot stand this dungeon. The puzzles are not fun, the structure of the dungeon is confusing and monotonous, and for the love of Arceus, the boss fight is awful. It's just grab the eye, swing two times at it, and fight his second form. But this form is actually quite different. This time you have to swim around and grab his eye and swing two times. Oh wait, it's not different at all. I hate this dungeon, but there's one far worse. There's one that deserves number one spot way more. I think by now you all understand that I absolutely hate Phantom Hourglass, and this dungeon is one of the major reasons why. Number one is the Temple of the Ocean King. Allow me to explain how awful this dungeon is. Wait, you know what? Th there is just way too much to go over. I feel like I have to talk about everything in this game and not just this dungeon. You know what? No. No, this needs its own video. Wink, wink.